Okay, everybody, welcome back to my Mario Kart 750cc walkthrough. Today we're doing Banana Cup, one of my favorites. Oh no. Yeah, I like hitting obstacles like that. But I don't like, um, battle. I like either Grand Prix or DS better. Wait a minute, do they even have VS? Oh yes, they do. Here on um, Mario Kart 7. But you can only access it in um, multiplayer. Oh, it missed. Oh no. Okay, maybe it isn't coming after all. Oh no, it is. Oh, and even worse, someone sent me a blue shell to right when I'm... Okay, maybe he's not going to use it. If you can hear that thumping in the background, I apologize for that. That's just my dad. Welcome to one of my uh, favorite races in the entire game. And it also has one of my uh, favorite soundtracks too. Same soundtrack and same race too has been reused in, um, I think, multiple games. It was at least in um, Mario Kart Wii and Mario Kart 7. Same soundtrack, only um, the design of the race has been slightly altered in Mario Kart 7. Probably because of the hang gliding feature. And same with um, that Bowser's Castle that I also said was one of my um, favorites. I think they altered the design of it. I mean, yeah, I think they altered it a little bit in Mario Kart 7 because of the hang gliding feature, although I'm kind of guessing. They also used that um, soundtrack in Super Mario 3D World, too. Okay, everybody, this is a race that was um, reused. Um from Mario Kart Wii. Same soundtrack and everything, only, um, of course they added the, um, hang gliding feature. 
I mean, they added the um, special, um, I don't know what you call them, that are specifically for hang gliding to this race because of the um, hang gliding feature that was added in Mario Kart 7. Whoops. This is called Coconut Mall. I like how some of it is outdoor. I wonder if that is common in um, shopping malls in Japan. Because, of course, Japan, near geographic location, they're a long chain of many islands. I think they're tropical. So I wouldn't be surprised if, um, if, um, many of their infrastructure is partly outdoors. Oh, but I also noticed that there are palm trees on the outside of this mall, too. Then I don't know what they're spoofing, maybe. Maybe they're spoofing a um, shopping mall in L.A. or something. L.A., in case you're wondering, is Los Angeles City in um, California. It's where Disneyland, the original 1955 Disney, is located. And that's also where Hollywood is located. Hollywood's a neighborhood in LA. And it is also where, um, where my beloved pop crush, Carly Rae Jepsen, lives. Which is sad, because I loved that she was Canadian. She still is Canadian. She hasn't applied for an American citizenship yet, but, well, you know. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I am proudly Canadian. But I am not going to reveal what city I'm from in particular because, well, as we know, that is sharing too much personal information. And one thing about social media is you are not allowed to share any personal information. Yeah, one day I'll do an episode that's, that's basically me, um, ranking the, um, my favorite Curly Ray Jepsen songs. I'm even, I even hope to write a book with her when I'm a famous writer. Together we can work on it. A book that, um, explains not, I mean, that explains the, um, stories behind not all her songs, but the ones that she thinks are her absolute best. Welcome to the, um, final race. This one's taken from a, uh, another Mario Kart video game. Same, um soundtrack and everything. The soundtrack, just the soundtrack, was later reused in a race called, um, I mean, a race that was, um, in Mario Kart 8 that was completely made up, which is called Wario Stadium. And if you actually, um, I mean, this race is called Waluigi Pinball. I mean, Waluigi Pinball, but if you actually, um, if you actually zoom out, you get an entire pinball machine. Which, of course, makes absolute sense, because, well, that is why it is called Waluigi Pinball. Whoa! Yeah, if one of those hits you, then we'll see you later. Actually, no, they just, you just get hit, that's all. Whoa! The hat, whoa! Whoa. 
gotta watch out. Whoa, uh oh, it disappeared. Why did they stick to a background that's just, um, stars? Wouldn't it make more sense if the background was an actual arcade? Like, to scale, like, like I'm talking about, like we were in an actual pinball machine. That would make a lot more sense. And why did they have to come up with original soundtrack? Why couldn't they just use the Who's Pinball Wizard? I'm kidding. I like this track. I mean, I like this soundtrack better. It's one of my favorites. Whoa! Oh! Well, I'm way ahead of everybody else, so... That is okay. Okay, everybody, and we are done. Well, that is it for today. If you guys like what you uh, see, subscribe to the uh, channel so you can get um, free content like this every single day. Well, up to, I mean, up to a point, I mean, up to a uh, period of time. And if you guys really like what I do and want to know what else I do, follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account address is in the um, description below. And yeah, y'all have a good one. Y'all take care.